In this Excel magic trick, we want to see how to take three lookup values and return an intersecting ID code. And we want to see how to do it in the Excel worksheet and in Power Query, both in Excel and Power BI. Quad, SR2, those two lookup values determine the row. Washington returns the column. The intersecting value is what we're after. In the worksheet, we can use XLOOKUP. And we have to choose, are we looking up the column first or the row? I'm going to look up the column first. So I'm looking up that value, comma, lookup array, these column headers, F4, comma, and these are all the IDs, F4. Now that return array has four rows. So when this formula finds a match, it returns the full column. But from that column, F2, now we need to look up the row. We use a second X lookup, and we have two lookup values. I'm going to take quad and join it to whatever SR is, comma. Now lookup array, if I come back here, we have two lookup values. So now we need to select the first column, F4, and join it to the second column, F4. And there's our two X lookups. Close parentheses, Control Enter, copy it down. Go to the last cell, F2. We have successfully done a three-way lookup in the Excel worksheet. Now in Power Query, both in Excel and Power BI, what we do is exactly the same. We have both tables. Here's our lookup table. Now we could come over to the fact table and create a formula, but formulas calculate very slowly. It's much better to unpivot this, create a proper data set, and use the merge feature. Now we need to get quad and SR1 matched up with Washington, Oregon, and California in three different records. To do that, we select the first two columns, right click, unpivot other columns. Now we have a complete proper data set. Quad SR1s matched up with all the states. Now we don't want these two names, attribute and value. Rather than double click and add a new step, I'm just going to go right up to the formula bar. There's our table dot unpivot other columns. Double click, call it state, and double click value, ID, and Enter. Now we go back to the fact table. We want to merge to look up the ID. Come up to Merge Queries. We do not want to merge as new. We just want to add a column, so we use Merge. And right here in Merge, we can create our unique identifier by clicking on the first column, holding Shift, click, click. Now it will take the three values, combine them to get a unique identifier. We go to the Lookup table. Do the same thing here. And now when it finds a match across all three columns, it will return the correct ID. We want a left outer, all from the first. We want all the records from the fact table, but just matching records from the lookup table. Click OK. Come to the Expand button. We do not want to use the original table name. Unselect all. We're only looking for ID. Click OK, and bam, three-way lookup in Power Query. All right, that was a little fun with three-way lookup in the worksheet and Power Query.